the importance of the award uh, to me is that uh, my sister's uh, name is still alive and uh, I think it's also uh, important not only uh, to me personally but uh, for m many people around the world uh, because um, they have Anna as a symbol. Вы знаете, просто, во-первых, замечательно, что такая премия учреждена. Аня это заслужила, и это, ну вот, есть такое поверье, что человек жив до тех пор, пока жива память о нем. Вот учреждение премии Ани Политковской – это доказательство того, что многие люди ее помнят и будут помнить. She was very difficult because she was an extremely principled and unyielding person. She was about truth and integrity. She was about telling it as it was. In modern wars, um, civilians are targeted more and more in modern wars, modern forms of terrorism, modern forms of violence. Uh, the distinction between combatants and civilians is getting increasingly lost. And women are often a particular target of violence and often of particularly vicious violence. And so I think the rights of women are once again becoming a kind of litmus test of human rights altogether. And therefore it is very, very important to honor the role of women um, in these areas of violence and injustice. This year, on um, the eve of the anniversary of Anna Politkovska's murder, on the eve of the fifth anniversary, there has been five years since Anna was killed, uh, we will be uh, presenting yet again the Anna Politkovska Award for courage to an amazing, uh, amazing and courageous woman, this time from Syria. Her name is Razan Zaitunek and she is a um, 36 year old uh, human rights lawyer and journalist who is in hiding in Syria. She's been, um, her life has been under threat, um, the life of her family as well and their well-being. For her becoming this um, voice out of Syria, uh, reporting daily on the human rights violations against civilians happening there, including killings of demonstrators, torture of um, young people, young men and women, uh, sometimes children, tortured by the army and by um, the security forces of the government. A big honor for me as a Syrian citizen in this critical time of our history in Syria where we have been in this peaceful revolution for more than six months and after all these sacrifices, all these victims of the regime who are fighting for their freedom, for truth, for human rights. It's a big honor for every one of them to get this uh, award in the name of Anna, which is a symbol of truth and the human rights and the freedom. So it means a lot for all of us. It's not an individual thing for me. When now people in Syria, they're struggling for human rights, for democracy, for their basic rights, people in the Europe, they don't have the same situation. And therefore, when we are in other countries, we need to support those people who are struggling, who are in difficult situation. That w that's why with this kind of award, we show them that we are in solidarity with you. We know you, we, we don't forget you. Therefore, we support you. When Syrian people started their revolution, they started it by their own. They didn't ask 
for any help. They didn't ask for any kind of support. And they continued, in spite of all this violence coming against them. But it's now, it's over all our limits now. It's, it's the killing, the daily killing, the daily violence against people. I think the world should do something. She has personally been extremely brave. I mean, she really has brought us very crucial news about what is happening within Syria and the horrible violations of, of human rights uh, and the horrible um, targeting of civilian lives. Youth leaders from the area, it's in the suburbs of Damascus, they decided to react to the violence of the regime with giving back flowers and water to the soldiers and the security who were killing them, actually. Among those, I want especially to, to name uh, Riyas Matar and Yahya Shirbaji, who got arrested in September 6th. In the, in the protest, to put the water and the flowers on the ground as a line between them and the soldiers. And and start to chanting that uh, we are your people, we, you, we shouldn't kill each other, we are brothers, and something like that. Uh, Riyas got, um, sorry, I'm sorry. He has got arrested at September 6th with Yahya Ashurbaji. He is one of my best friends, also Yahya. And uh, three days after, after that, in the security brought the ass body. He was killed under torture. The body and the hands which used to give the flowers and the water to do soldiers and security were crushed. He, he, he got killed in a very brutal, brutal way, actually. And we still very worried for sure about Yahya life. We don't know anything about him yet. Um, we heard that he was in the hospital also in very critical situation. Uh, until this moment, we don't know anything about him. We see individuals like Razan, like Anna, like Natalia, who speak out, who are not afraid, who just have to do their work, which is to report on, um, on the daily uh, uh, violence in their countries. Syrian people amazed the whole world, I think. Until this moment, daily, we have dozens of thousands of people went to street everywhere around the country to protest peacefully, to chanting freedom, freedom, peacefully, peacefully, to say that they want to live in freedom, in dignity, and they, until this moment, they refuse to react to the violence of the regime with any kind of violence, of similar violence. More than 3,000 people including children, women, girls, got killed by the regime during the last six months. Cities are raided daily. Dozens of thousands got arrested, and they are still continuing the arrest campaign daily. In spite of all this violence against people, in spite of all of that, they are continuing until this moment, and they are saying we will not stop until we reach our aim, which, we, which is free new Syria.